This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we'll take a look at Flippity, a website that allows you to transform Google Spreadsheets into engaging activities. We'll first take a look at what kinds of activities are available on Flippity, walk through the build of a Flippity activity, and then finally show you how you transform that into a web link that uh, has the activity in its final published form. Let's get started. When you navigate to the Flippity website, you'll notice a series of thumbnails that um, have the different games that are available and teacher resources. Under each thumbnail, you'll see three buttons, Demo, Instructions, and Template. The demo lets you take a look at the finished product once you are finished editing your Google Sheets template. So in this example, this is a flashcard game can tap on the flashcard to see the answer, keep tapping to go to the next one. This actually, uh, this game actually is linked to a bunch of other games which are available up here in the tabbed view. Um, one of my favorite ones is this quiz show. So if I click on a demo to show you that, tapping one time will get you the question, another time the answer, and this is where you can even keep score for your teams. Clicking a third time will bring you back to the original uh, game show so you can continue to play with students. So again, that's the demo, so you can see what the finished product will look like. The instructions, just like it sounds, show you how to make that right from a template. Uh, the template is the third button, and clicking the template will force you to make a copy. And so, when you make a copy of the spreadsheet, you're going to want to rename this for yourself. Once you have it named, you can change any part of the spreadsheet except for the blue item. So in this case, nothing in row 1 and nothing in column A. If you change anything in those areas, the game won't work once you finish. Um, what I typically would do is I erase all of the content and change the categories in this case if I were using this game and then I would push this out through Google Classroom and have kids um, work as a team, you know, work in teams and then edit the questions and answers. Once you have your game finished, what you would do is simply go to File, Publish to the Web, click the Publish button, and then you can close this pop-up window and at the bottom you'll notice that adjacent to where you were editing your questions there's a get link here tab clicking on that you'll see a link that will be live this is the link to the game that you created so again if I had changed these categories these would all be renamed and my questions and answers would be available here through this link which students could access if I provided it to them through Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and blog posts, check us out online at teachingforward.net.